the first 500 US dollars plus I have made on italki. How I made my first 500 US dollars, that is Kenya shillings 50,000 on italki.com, teaching my native language, Kiswahili and English. That's what I'm going to be talking about in today's video. And you want to stay tuned to learn more. guys welcome back to the channel i'm so glad that you are watching if you're new here welcome karibu my name is eva mtali and on this channel we talk about all things making money online side hustle opportunities and how to make a passive income so if any of these topics sound interesting to you you want to hit that subscribe button below and once you have done so you want to hit the notification bell as well so that you do not miss out on any new videos in today's video i'm going to share with you a few tips that has worked for me and how i have been able to earn 500 us dollars plus on the italki.com platform if you don't know about italki italki is a platform on the internet whereby people come to learn different languages so if you're interested in learning more about italki you want to check this videos up here where I share the different aspects of italki, how do you register, for example, with just your cell phone, if you don't have a computer, how do you get signed up on the platform, what do you need, and all other details. I'll be shooting of this video, which is the 6th of May, 2021. I have 556.22 US dollars in my teacher wallet. I'm just gonna refresh that. Yeah, you can see the available balance is 556.22. I had intended to shoot this video when I hit the 500 mark, but it's all good. So I'm gonna share with you some of the things that I did and some of the things that worked for me to be able to hit my first 500 US dollars on italki. Let's have a look at my teacher profile. This is my teacher profile. I have heard 68 lessons ranging from 30 minutes, 45 minutes to one hour. I have had 18 students. I teach Luo and Kiswahili. I have been an italki teacher since January 25, 2021. In terms of completed lessons, I have had 16 in February, 20 in March, 27 in April, and there's about three or four classes in May that have not yet been updated here, will be updated at the end of next month, which will be June. My attendance rate has been 100% and my response rate is also 100%. Testimonials, Eva is a great teacher, highly recommend, great class, thank you. The number one thing that worked for me and I would recommend for you as well is um, your availability, yeah? So, in my case, for example, I teach Kiswahili and the Luo to people who live outside of Africa. At least the students that I have have all been outside the continent. So obviously, we are dealing with time zone issues. So the first thing you want to do is find out your students. Who are the likely people to sign up for your classes? And then make yourself available on their time zone. So with italki as a teacher you get to pick out and set your availability on the italki calendar and when you are available then students can sign up for your classes so in my case for example most of my students are from the u.s I have people from um, europe i have students from australia so that means time zone wise i have to avail myself outside of the regular working hours in kenya so for example um to get my u.s students i have to be available very early in the morning like from 3 a.m 
4 a.m., 5 a.m., 6 a.m., thereabout. And I also have to be available um, later in the evening, which is their morning, yeah? If it's uh, Europe, that means you have to be available, like in my case, a little later. So like from, you know, 6 p.m., 7 p.m., 8 p.m., thereabouts, because most of the countries are about two to three hours behind my time zone yeah so that's number one know your student so that you can avail yourself when they are available right and make sure your availability is also varied enough don't just say okay i'm gonna put only daytime you know my daytime or only my evening yeah make it flexible and gauge when are most of your students booking classes and then adjust your calendar accordingly number two is make sure to prepare for your classes so there is something that i just thought was you know it was the right thing to do but i didn't realize how seriously the students take it so if i wish i could show you my testimonials page but you can just go and check i just want to put it on the screen because it's got people's full names and details but if you check my italki profile you're gonna see some of the testimonials that the students gave is that eva was prepared before the class so that is something that is really huge make sure you know what you are going to teach have sort of like a mock um session with yourself and know exactly how many minutes are you going to spend teaching grammar or whatever it is you're teaching for that class and be prepared the students can tell when you're prepared and when you're not number three when you sign up for italki one of the requirements is you must have a video introducing yourself your classes what you're going to teach your teaching style and the like i encourage you to have a call to action when you shoot your video so for example if you check my italki profile at the end of um, my video i actually tell my students that i look forward to meeting me in class number four be flexible so for example on the italki platform you as a teacher cannot cancel a class 24 hours before the i think it's 24 12 hours before the scheduled class so for example let's say it's now 8 a.m in the morning and i have a class at 8 p.m in the evening i cannot cancel that class on the system and the same thing applies to the student if a class has been scheduled they cannot cancel on the platform 12 hours before schedule however i have had cases whereby for one reason or another the student has approached me and they're like this came up would you kindly allow me to cancel the class so chiniamaji as in like on the platform it will still show that the class is running but i have had to make a separate arrangement with my student like hey it's okay we're gonna do a makeup class for you and then sometimes again because of time zone issues i have had cases where the student uh, maybe picked a wrong time because of time zone issues or whatever reason and they're like hey eva i have just realized that i picked the wrong time zone and they miss class or something like that if you have availability just do a makeup class for free yeah like it won't cost you anything yeah and unless of course the students insist no no eva i have to pay you because i don't know what happened but volunteer to do a makeup class i don't know but i remember back in my day when i was in school teachers always gave even makeup exams and they never charged extra for that teachers um give makeup classes like if somebody fell sick the teacher would give you like i don't know an hour after class and just explain the concepts that they had taught so i think it's just the right thing to do if your student has a genuine reason and i mean for whatever reason if they missed class or something happened i mean we forget yeah something else that i've always done is let's say i had planned to teach i don't know these three concepts and then during class you know sometimes you get sidetracked so i have really amazing students so sometimes during class we kind of get sidetracked and then i'm not able to finish what i had scheduled to teach for that class and time is up if i have no other scheduled class or scheduled meeting or scheduled activity and my student is available i simply ask him hey i really wanted us to finish this um topic do you have 10 minutes 15 minutes it doesn't have to just extend your time if your student is available and they don't mind 
extending and you don't have like something pressing to do almost immediately yeah just extend i mean it happened a lot i remember in uh, when i was going to school the teachers always extend though we never liked it but for something like a language which somebody is just motivated to learn and they have volunteered themselves and they've paid to be in this class it's different like when we had to go to school for example something else make sure you find out your students learning style and also ask them why they are learning the language so for example i have had a mix of um, those who are students like i've had university students who are taking kiswahili um, at university level so obviously for somebody like that i have to teach them you know standardized kiswahili kiswahili sanifu but sometimes somebody tells you i am planning to come to east africa i don't know for six months or i'm planning to travel and i just want to be able to communicate so in such a case i would teach them you know the regular colloquial kiswahili that will help them to get along when they come um into the country or into the continent something else is italki has what they call the opportunities feature again i wish i could show you my screen but it has like uh, my student's name on it so let's say if you have a student who regularly books classes with you and they haven't booked in a while there's that opportunity box where italki asks you if you want to remind the student to book a class or and they even have pre um they, they, they have preset messages for different like reminders and stuff like that so if that is something you're up to and again depending on the kind of rapport you have uh, built with your student you can contact them and take advantage of that or if somebody um, did a trial class with you and they haven't signed up for a class if you're up for it and you have space still in your schedule you can just reach out and ask hey i hope you enjoyed my trial class with you i'll be happy to have a class with you so just something that don't be too pushy but just let the student know that hey i still remember we had this class if you're interested or if you have a regular student who likes to have your class at a particular time and they haven't booked in a while you can tell them hey it's been a while since you booked i hope you're well and I just realized you like to book classes between, you know, five and six o'clock. I realized spots are filling up really fast. Let me know if you have intention to book class so that I can block this session for you. So just engage with your students. And then once in a while, as you go about your day-to-day -day activity, you could stumble on, I don't know, maybe like a song or an article or something that is interesting in the language that your student is learning. Feel free to share those with them and uh, sometimes the students will come across something or maybe they are doing their own personal studies and they reach out to you outside of class hours don't wait until like class time that's when you want to like respond to them if you have five minutes feel free to respond to them and help them out and guide them last but not least italki has a feature which is called like the trial classes and every new student gets i think it's three spots to sign up with a teacher you know just for a trial class and get to know about the teacher their learning style and all that and the trial classes are usually just 30 minutes long my advice for you don't use the trial class for you know just to have fun and just for introduction so do a little introduction but also introduce a few concepts here and there so that the student can actually feel that it was worth the money that they paid for their trial class and also make sure that your personality your teaching style um, and everything about you comes out during this 30 minute session so that because a student is probably trying with other like maybe three other teachers and they're trying to make a decision put your best foot forward yeah like make the student want to come back be engaging sound likable make the student feel comfortable so that they can sign future classes for you yeah so those are the tips that have worked for me and have helped me to get my first 500 US dollars plus on italki.com teaching my native mother tongue language Kiswahili and the Lua. So if you're interested in learning more about italki, 
you want to check those videos up here and of course you want to hit the notification bell once you have subscribed to the channel so that every single time i shoot a new video you do not miss out thank you for staying up to the very end i definitely look forward to meeting you on the next video bye bye